Welcome to our program today, where we will talk about Bernard Arnault, one of the richest men in the world, and owner of the luxury conglomerate LVMH. Arnault has been called the king of luxury and his story is an inspiration to many. Join us as we discover how this man became so rich and successful. Bernard Arnault was born in Roubaix, France in 1949. From a young age, he showed a keen interest in business and art, and studied engineering at the prestigious École Polytechnique. After graduating, he worked in his father's company, which manufactured construction. However, Arnault was not satisfied with the family business, and decided to seek out new opportunities. He began buying struggling companies and restructuring them, which allowed him to make large profits. In 1984, he acquired the luxury company Christian Dior, and began expanding into the world of fashion and luxury products. Arnault was also a pioneer in the fashion industry by developing his own brands, and acquiring other luxury companies, such as Louis Vuitton, Fendi, and Givenchy. Additionally, he capitalized on the globalization of markets and the growing demand for luxury products in emerging countries. Throughout his career, Arnault has demonstrated a great ability to identify opportunities and make risky but well-informed decisions. In 1988, for example, he surprised the world by acquiring the Champagne maker Moet and Chandon, which later merged with the Cognac company. Hennessy to form the luxury conglomerate LVMH. LVMH, acronym for Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, is a French multinational luxury conglomerate that operates in various sectors, including fashion and accessories, perfumes, and cosmetics, watches and jewelry, wines and spirits, and selective distribution. Some of LVMH's most recognized companies are fashion and accessories, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Fendi, Celine, Loewe, Kenzo, Perfumes and Cosmetics, Perfume Christian Dior, Guerlain, Givenchy. Perfume, Kenzo Perfume, Aqua di Parma, Fresh, Benefit Cosmetics, Makeup Forever, and KVD Beauty. Watches and Jewelry, Bulgari, Tag Hoya, Zenith, Hublot, Chomet, Fred, and De Beers. Wines and Spirits, Moet and Chandon, Veuve Clicquot, Hennessy, Glenmorangie, Belvedere, and Chateau Dequim. Selective Distribution, Sephora, DFS, and Le Bon Marche. It is important to note that LVMH has acquired and merged many companies over the years, so this list may be subject to change. Over time, Arnaud became an influential figure in the fashion and luxury industry, and his company, LVMH, became one of the largest and most successful in the world. Today, his fortune is estimated at over $150 billion, making him one of the richest people in the world. But Arnaud's success has not been without controversy. He has been criticized for some of his business practices and his control over some of the world's most exclusive brands. Additionally, in 2019, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris suffered a devastating fire. And Arnaud was criticized by some people for promising a large amount of money for the cathedral's restoration, when those funds could have been allocated to more urgent causes. Despite the criticism, it is undeniable that Bernard Arnault has had a significant impact on the fashion and luxury industry. Additionally, he has demonstrated a great ability to identify trends and capitalize on them, as well as a dedication to hard work and excellence. He is an inspiring example for those seeking success in business. However, behind his success lies a series of decisions and strategies that have not always been popular or ethical. Arnaud has been criticized for his aggressive business tactics. In addition, some people have accused LVMH of engaging in counterfeiting and intellectual property theft, particularly in its production of handbags. Arnaud has also been accused of using his wealth and influence. Whether you admire or criticize his business practices, there is no denying the impact that Bernard Arnaud has had on the world. Thanks for watching.